It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where representatives from the AFC and NFC will square off. It's the Lions and the Chiefs, under the lights on Thursday night. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Tonight, we kick off a new NFL season with the opener for 2023, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Well, Charles, our eighth opening night broadcast together, and we couldn't ask for a better place to be. Arrowhead Stadium, been a festive atmosphere all day. Smell of barbecue in the air. They unfurled the Super Bowl banner just a few moments ago. It's a celebration, and they are ready to get the new year started. And what I like most, partner, was that you got them to slow the car down. We got a little taste of that barbecue, not just the smell. We are able to eat it a little bit. I like that, but hey, let's not overlook these lines under Dan Campbell. They're not here to enjoy the barbecue or the ceremony. They're to win. They think they've got a good football team as well. And they think that they're going to the playoffs in Detroit. They had no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know, but Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. And the Lions pressure too strong, down he goes. Jack Campbell, that is one that he will remember, his first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. Throwing on second and long, Mahomes, that's complete to Tony. It'll be a pick up of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Well, probably that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. That one for one, a lot more to go. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now here's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. There he goes right side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mahomes now to throw. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Butker's kick here is good, and the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it, because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. And he returns this to the 22. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late and season number eight now out of Cal it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise greatly exaggerated it seems. Boy what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns and led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. Andrew Van 
Ginkle there on the stop. The time now for a look at the Lions draft class CD. And they may have gotten some questions about where they pick guys, but really make no mistake, this class continues to help bolster that new identity in Detroit. They are all fits for what they're building there in the Motor City. I think they drafted a lot of starters in this class. How about our offense? Running back Jameer Gibbs and tight end Sam Laporta, day one starters. On the other side of the ball, linebacker Jack Campbell and Brian Branch, a safety or nickelback. I think they're day one starters as well. And I do love the pick of Hendon Hook in the third round as a developing quarterback. Yeah, he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. To throw is gone. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, this is a tough spot for these Lions on the road in Arrowhead to start the year. But it's also, you have to say, Charles, a showcase opportunity for them because this is a team that historically hasn't gotten a lot of big opportunities like this. And when they have gotten them, they haven't really delivered. This is a team, though, that believes that big things are out there for them. And they think that they can start to write a new history beginning with this game right here. Going back to Gibbs on first down. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now it's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On second down, here's Gibbs. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Now Goff on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. So we've got a few for 2023. A lot of procedural having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of cut my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something, when you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys, I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to win. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And again, it's Mahomes. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Boy, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And this is caught. Touchdown. Richie James. 50 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. 
extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead grows to 10 0. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. So an early 10 0 lead for them now as they kick it away, taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Another run for Gibbs here. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third. Golf. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And they're certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Now Mahomes. That is caught by Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Chiefs are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And yeah, that makes our score 17-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, <laughs> not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. A shotgun snap for Goff. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that's off the mark. Incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Richie James, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chiefs continue to pull away here in this first half. 
So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the round is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Jared Goff and the Lion offense heading out, and he'll be looking to snap a pretty unwelcome start to this ball game. Interceptions on his first three drives. They'll look to turn things around here as they start with a first down. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. There's Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up third and two. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw, and a good one. And he is going to have the Lions first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. They'll go again with Gibbs, and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll try the air now with Gaul. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And some room to work. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that'll help the old passing stats. Remember, it was a pop pass, so it's not a wide receiver run there, Charles. I like the way that you scored it, and that's exactly how it goes into the books. But remember, he's had success throwing the ball the standard way in this. Accelerating, and off he goes. Inside the 20. On the move past the 40. And he gets it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. Edwards Alaire is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Detroit's offense ready to take over. 
Well, they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Gibbs. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Here's Goff. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And three yards there takes him to the 45. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. From the gun, here's Goff. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down, and that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give them a new set of downs. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Gone. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Patterson's kick is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal could change the fortunes of a team. And they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. We'll start in the early window and begin up in Minneapolis. A tough one for the homestanding Vikings as they'll face off against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In the late afternoon games, one of the best of the bunch will be at Soldier Field in Chicago, where it'll be the Bears taking on the Green Bay Packers. And then on Sunday night, the national audience in for a treat. They've got a good one lined up between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants.
it's a new season. So both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. And he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you. And it erodes confidence in the offense. And now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, here's Goff. And that is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Now Goff. Hard throw, incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously, no touchdown scored in this game. James now to return it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. He returns the punt 60 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, it's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Time for another look at this Lions offense. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Gibbs straight ahead. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Escaping the pressure right. Open man right side is St. Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Goff now looks to throw. He'll go right back to St. Brown. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. Now back to the ground. Here's Gibbs. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 22. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. And he'll get this down only to the 18. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw, Goff. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. 
And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Mahomes now on first down. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Second and six at the 13 yard line. Mahomes on the give to Edward Dallaire, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. That's taken at around the 40. A seven yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Lions will take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried. That... And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Nick Bolton and a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. And this defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive. And they come up with a pick right there. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again? Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph down the left sideline. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, maybe a small measure of revenge for this defense because they've been thoroughly dominated so far, but a brief bright spot there with that pick six. Seemingly coming up for air after being dominated, as you described. They get a nice play there. Probably not going to change the balance of this game, but they have to feel a little bit better about themselves after that one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And we see James. He will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're right over on the sidelines to run for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, yeah, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. That'll be caught by James. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. And a tackle there by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mahomes now to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll work 
free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scambling, a nine yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They certainly announced that they are ready to go, haven't they? They wanted to send a message out to the rest of the league. You better put your eyes on us. We may be someone you have to reckon with. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. But it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive. They had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football. No more turtle. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And they're going to sack him yet again. The pass rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simple, a merciless pass rush every step of the game. And that rush earns a crowning achievement there. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now a carry for Edwards Allaire. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is going to be third and 13. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Lions. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Gibbs gets popped and he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Second down and three, ball on the seven. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards away. And he's going to throw his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards away. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chiefs 
are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. And they're going to speed things up here. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now golf. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he fights forward for a modest two yard gain, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. So not quite out of danger just yet. Still backed up a bit, but only need a few inches here on second down. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Four yards, and the Lions, first down. On the give, here's Gibbs. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll try the air now with Goff. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third, Goff. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Chris Jones make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards and Lair. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Right back to Edwards Alaire on first down. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. 
Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, Parter, tonight was a great way to kick the season off. That Before the game, probably as much pomp and circumstance to start a season as I can ever remember. And this is just game one of many to come sitting next to you. Really looking forward to it. As am I. Great to be back in booth with you for another season. Great to get this year underway. You and I both know interesting is going to be the word. An extra week now as part of that newer 17-game season. What a fun opener tonight. We know the better games are still on their way, but I'm glad that we got started. So for Kansas City, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get a few days to savor this one before they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.